Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Castellan's kind of legendary. Where he's from, and he's going to take it here. Oh, there it is. It's Oriana bottom. Oh, it is oh. too. Then they can start falling behind in the early game, and you are going to have a very scary Caitlyn to deal with. Here we go. It is that lane, so if oh. UOL sees it. Yeah, Boogie gives it up. He's like, hey, Ananasic, how you doing? Santa's here as well. The no man's also off to the side. Rain are going to face check. Set they're pretty durable even at level one. Gets the face breaker down, and there's the taunt coming in, and Santa's wishes he was somewhere else. Oh, is Ananasi gonna go back in? Boss with a stun! That's a first blood for the Camille! TP in for UOL! It's Carnage already! Here's Gadget! Looking to play the red side. Button. Now you've got Orianna and Nautilus playing this way, but because of the teleports being burned earlier, the Caitlyn has an advantage. Let's see if they can actually pull this or not. He does have Flash. Flash Paz yeah. have to use it as well. Boss with the hook shot. But Paz just respects the situation and gets himself out of there. Boogie is top lane actually going for this. Rain with the Hex Flash in. But the hook in onto Santa, oh. that's just going to be a kill. Yeah, Santa's just going to take out the Carthus. And Gadget, will he live to tell the tale? Archer going in, he gets the kill. Flashes out of there, and now Santa's no flash, but he does have it like Nearly as effectively as a Scion can. So it's just getting both with as little gold as possible and guaranteeing that you're going to have a higher impact that way. Santa's is going to match, and Anasik is going to get the dragon. But if uh, cast your mind back crumbs, you know. When lane swaps the red of the Galu coming in is really scary, but then you add the Karthus on top of it, and suddenly unicorns have to constantly look at the minimap before they're thinking about taking any of these fights. Here comes Scion. Karthus must be close to hitting six if he's going for this. Yeah, I think it's one camp away. That Grom's gonna die. He is six now, and here goes Scion. There's Gadget. TP in as well. I think Paz is gonna get it after the grave if he can, but here's Nomad to try and shut it down. He does get the kill, and now Paz gonna run in after the Oriana, but I don't think he can chase it. But here comes Ace. Gonna try and get it. No, Paz just has it. Never mind. <laughs> this game. They're going in the top lane. Big ultimatum. 3v2 here in the top set. Archer's gonna be dead here easily for Ananasi because he gets the collateral damage over the top. Rainer, level four, has the Haymaker ready to go, but that's not gonna be enough. And who's the second kill gonna go to? It's Boss that collects his check as UOL fight back. Oh, Unicorns is fighting. It's such a... I think in his head he's thinking, they don't have much data on us either. And I don't think Unicorns will have expected this, but now that it Archer as the Shrubbery Santas does indeed get the ambush. And now Rainer, I think he's gonna die again here. The bottom lane is starting to fall a little bit apart as UOL gonna pick up two kills once more. Oh boy, if they can to dodge most of the skill shots, but here comes the real problem, it's boss stabbing in with the Nautilus. Yeah, I really think if Galio was actually able to be there, things would have been okay. different, but now Ooh, he's gonna to go down. Waiting arms of Ananastic as Ace is gonna get shot to pieces. Make it the second kill there for the Graves as UOL starting to find the tempo they like here, I think. V3 have set a pretty quick game pace and UOL are happy to play along. You said their pace was breakneck pace. I think they just broke their own neck on this one, though, <laughs> because they have been going so fast. Unicorn the thing is that it's going to get to the point where no one on the side of V3 can side lane whatsoever against anyone on Unicorns of Love. They're going to dominate that department. And if V3 is conceding these dragon fights, Unicorns of Three isn't prepared for this. Unicorns can strike out of nowhere. Now that Camille is here, her flash is up. You saw how quickly she was able to delete Archer. She has to stay next to the set. It's her best chance at surviving. Ooh. Come Sion, but actually Santos goes in and that's going to be a kill in on Tabugi. Already going to take down the Carthus. Here's the ultimate at him. Galio with a very nice Ooh. taunt. Get a shot down boss. Ananasi going to go down as well. And right over the top of the showstop. It's going to do just that as Paz and Archer are chasing down the rest. Flash in there for the Caitlyn's going to give that kill over. And now Santos going to have to run away and hook himself to the wall. No Man's though on the back end of the play. He's able to take down Rainer and still got the Herald. I believe No Man's got it. And he is going to get the eye and try and dip away. He's level 12, but he's getting chased out by the Galio. Nice roof walk though. Gets him out from under the incoming Justice Punch. But is there any more left here? Ace is wanting to chase down this Kassadin. He's got double buffs as well. He's going to get the Q down, but he needs a little bit of extra help. The Taunt not quite there in range. Nomads is going to get knocked up, and the Blast Goon is going to move Ace over as well. And that Justice Punch is going to force the Flash, but Ace just follow Flashes instead. Woo! And now Nomads, he riffwalked over. He somehow had a little bit of extra mana left over. And Archer might finally get a kill after all. He's so close to being in range. That Q just barely misses. And now you will. They're going to try and save the cast, and they're going to TP oh in. No man! He gets the kill. He's got mana back. He's going to go in as well. Archer getting low. He's going to get slain by Boss. Surely there's a the double kill for the Cassidy. He had no mana. He had no health. He had no hope. And somehow 
He's gotten two kills and assists, and he's almost back to half HP. It was one. They had one. Yeah, so often in their final. Oh my. <laughs> What can you say? You gave these th these two champions that are so scary so many kills, and now they're killing people in the side lanes again. And it's just a menace. Level 14, two items, almost fully stacked to Rod of Ages. Can't be far away from the transform. I'm sure Boss is diving poor Ace, who's been resourced yep. up from all the swapping, and Boss will just clean that one up. And this is from the side lanes constantly. You see that Camille is not leaving the lane. She's staying here. Same thing with Cassidy, who's already back on the map. And so you have to group up. And if you do, you're now conceding pressure in the sides, which allow the Cassidy to just have free access to. Look at what he does. Yeah, he just doesn't care. I, I refuse to believe Wait a minute. he died. Oh, that's actually quite a lot from Archer. Boss also going to get spotted, but Reyna already dead. Gadget going to actually nab the last hit. And No Man's actually going to go back to base. He can just TP in if he needs to. Great shockwave there from Gadget. Looks so good on the Soriana. And now the enemy jungler is going to be forced to flash away. Yuel are going to chase in. Ananastic is going to grab that kill. Boss is going to dive into the backline onto Ace. Here comes the Requiem. But I don't think it's enough. No Man's dominating after the TP back in. Takes down Archer. That's another kill dead as Ace falls and Paz. He's going to be the last one left alive as UOL are going to kill the Zombie Scion and grab themselves the Ace. This is fantastic. One, three, one, and then have an Orianna into the bottom lane. Deal with what V3 threw at you, which was just unorthodox from start to finish and just stay true to their win condition and executing the team fight is really impressive. I think the UOL hype is definitely living up to it. Yeah, this is quite the game. Again, we under such like different circumstances right like not every team's gonna land this is the game he got to play it because so many other things have happened that we haven't actually had a whole lot of time to talk about his oriana but that shockwave that managed to snipe the carters that is not a first time oriana player shockwave and that's what you want to see too from your oriana bottom can you actually do things in a team fight because yeah we know you can farm but can you play Oriana like a regular man? Oh my goodness. Can you play League of Legends? Is no. the question I asked Boogie. No, you cannot. If you're up against the level 16, cast it in with three items, finish it under 25 minutes with Infernal Soul. No. <laughs> the answer is no, Crumbs. You don't get to play. Ace, you don't get to play either. Oh, oh my god, goodbye help. Chase him. He can chase him. He is. I mean, of course he can. He's just dead. Oh, I wish you refocused the channel was happening. Oh, Q almost killed him. That was cool. Man, out of mana. Oh no. Don't let him auto you. I think, it's, I think he's gone too far. I think he did. Yeah, he went too far. All right, good work, Archer. <laughs> Cleaning it up. That's a big bounty. All right. Still fighting. Good Shockwave finds two. UOL still in there as No Man's has been quite the distraction. Here's a big taunt coming in. Finds three, I think, on the taunt. But Santa's going to clean it up. And I think UOL just too far ahead crumbs. The gold lead is ridiculous. No Man's is uh, giving away his life, but for a good cause here. As the Nexus is going to be Unicorns of Loves in short order. Ananasic getting low, but not good. dead just yet. Carthus says, I don't think so. Ace in the hole as well, just in case. Reyna trying to keep fighting. As Paz also tying up the rest of them left in the base. Gadget is going to get a kill, but there's Boogie with a shutdown onto Gadget. Paz low, but Archer still fighting. His boss wants to get the uh, Caitlyn, but he can't quite find the range. And now boss is going to get the Ace in the hole blocked by Santas. As he's going to look to go back in, but he shuts down Paz instead. Not wanting to get punched anymore by the undead Scion. And that was a completely normal passenger play I just had to play by yeah. play. <laughs> Aren't you just used Kaelin Ultimate three times in that fight? You're only able to find this mark at the right. At Ooh, the tail. Another Santa's kill. Getting okay. Feisty taking down Boogie with the with the uh, anchor. That was a cinematic moment as boss is somehow still alive. Alright, no. Oh, we gotta stop man. That's probably we could have ended alive. this game. He tried to end this game, Crumbs. He deserves credit. He does. That was his first death. Still has a 400 gold bounty on top of him if he wasn't fed enough already. Unicorns of Luck. It's happening again. Up and in. He only got... I thought he was dead, but he's not. The nightmare's not over. Paz is the target. That feels bad. Oh, oh my goodness. Sion, no. I'm so sorry. No, man. Don't do it like this. He's going to get taunted 1v4. He said that's enough. Doesn't have to flash. Oh, actually, champion right now. And now Gadget's here to shield him up. That's not very fair. He was 1v4-ing before. Gadget here going to make it a 2v4 instead. No Man's is running low on mana, which means that he can't do nearly as much silly stuff as he was doing before, but it's not going to stop him. I want to see him put the shield on 
Cassidy and go for a Shockwave like that. That's a really cool combo that only Orianna and Cassidy can ever do, and you rarely see them together. And I know we haven't been outside of V3's base in a while, but if you're wondering, they have lost all their inhibitors and only have one Nexus turret. So you will, I'm trying to put an end to this game, but Nomad, you're trying oh. to do it in style. What a Shockwave combo! As they send in Santas for the absolutely stylish finish that only the Unicorns could find. And that's going to be an ace, a death again for No Man's, but it is worth the glory as UOL are going to get yet another team wipe and they'll claim their first Nexus in style as they take down V3. Unicorns of Love give us some of their old Camille and Cassidy, but also with the Orianna.